Hi, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 21. First day of winter. Hmm. <laughs> well, that gets us going for winter stuff because when it's cold out, I like to use bulk yarns and warm yarns and different things like that. So as you can see, I finished my scarf. I'm wearing it for the video today. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Grab a cup. Mine has a Christmas cookie in it with a hazelnut creamer. I'm not sure if I like those two together or not. It's just not it's just not lovable. <laughs> and I have a little tickle <coughs> and a scratch or something. So I threw a cough drop in <clears throat> trying to, I'm just, I just want to try and keep it moist through the video because I think <clears throat> the more I talk, the drier it gets, it's not going to work. So that way I still can get to do the video. And I put my hair up today. So you're probably like, who is she? <laughs> But uh, no, so I have a whole bunch of stuff to do today. That's why I'm thinking that I needed the cough drop. Um, first of all, uh, I wanted to say something about yesterday's uh, uh, present from Christy before I go any farther because it's fresh on everybody's mind. She gave me this hank of uh, spring colors remember well what I didn't realize first of all was that there was a tag in it which fell out and, and it was sitting here on the on the table and it says on it hand dyed yarn from L Lowlander yarn studios it's wool and nylon blend now that was one of the things that I found out on my own, but she reminded me when she saw the video, she texted me and told me that she thought she forgot to put this in. And I said, no, I had found it. What I didn't find was inside, and somebody else said it too, but Christy said it. There was a mini. <laughs> and it was wrapped inside. So it was actually two the two Hanks, the one uh, sock yarn Hank, and then the mini to go with it. So you can have a solid to do your, if you were to make uh, socks, you would do your cuffs and, you know, your whatever. I don't knit. So, but that doesn't mean that I can't try it because I have a lot of uh, crochet sock patterns now. So. That might be on my to-do list. <laughs> so that was why this color was in here that way. And it and it I, to me it looked a little weird, but I didn't, you know, I never got one before like that. So yeah, that there was a mini in there. <laughs> so yeah, you can't make this stuff up, right? Okay, so that is really good news. <laughs> I wanted to share that with you. So that was uh, yesterday's um, update. And then um, yesterday we also had uh, Glenda announced a, a 2020 scarf challenge and I accepted. And um, I wanted to tag a few other podcasters in that just because. So I did tag Christy. I tagged her through a messenger. However, I did not uh, tag her officially on here, so I want to tag a few other channels as well. I'd like to tag Terry at Yarn Joy, Marianne at Yarn Happens, Kayla at Llama Mama Kayla, Kim Thompson, the Crafty Nomad, and Kim Gao at Classy Kim. Okay, so you're officially tagged. <laughs> in the scarf challenge and boy I have been thinking about that all day still haven't uh, really decided yet on what so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my finished scarf and I did make it an infinity scarf after all so it is uh, joined I joined it with uh, 
not a whip stitch, a block, I guess, stitch. I'm not quite sure how they what they call it, but I saw somebody do it. And so I'm not thrilled with that join, but it's it'll do. We're our worst critics, aren't we? Mm -hmm. But it came out very nice, and I used every last little tiny bit of that cake up. And that was um, just a reminder that was cherry on top. And it was uh, Ferris Wheel, which is 100% uh, acrylic by Line Brand. So that's done. And then I also finished the hat that I had started earlier last week sometime. This one, um, it was a mystery bag, mill ends, and it has a really nice sparkle. Um, I'm going to say that there is wool in it, but it came out very stretchy very lofty and the hat the hat came out really nice i mean it fits me but it's not too tight not too too loose so i really like that and that of course is the divine pattern i'll link everything down below all right so then the other thing i wanted to talk about today um that has to do with the facebook group is uh, we're having uh, another uh, swap. This one is for Valentine's. If you'd like to join in our swap, our swaps are intended to be kept to $20 swaps. So that way, you know, you don't feel like you have to, pay, you know, buy $100 worth of stuff. I try to encourage you to stay to just yarns. Um, Doug's driving around outside with the uh, four-wheeler, which causes the big lab to to run back and forth and bark. And <laughs> so if you hear any craziness, it's just our dog. <coughs> okay, so anyway, the the <clears throat> the yarn swap is for Valentine's Day. Um, if you want to join in, you just need to send me a message. You can send it to me by email instant messenger or just however just that that it you are sending your address to me so don't do it public um i need to have your name by january 3rd so that i can that weekend pair pair up all the partners and send out emails or messages with your partner's name and et cetera in it. Please include any allergies and if you have animals and what kind they are. Um, the rules are over on the Facebook page. So um, just go over, click the announcements tab and any announcements that are ongoing at the time will be the only thing that shows up when you scroll down the page. So it's not full of feed. If you click the announcements and all old announcements have been removed and I'm pretty good about that <laughs> I haven't been I don't have any um, helpers or moderators at this moment but um, yeah I'm, I'm pretty good about taking things off of there that are old okay so works in progress I do have one today the oh by the way that swap will be uh, They'll, they'll be expected you to send out so they get it by Valentine's Day. So usually, you know, think about by February 4th or 5th, you should have it in the mail. Um, my work in progress. This was, I guess it was um, this morning when I was thinking about what scarf I was going to do for the challenge. I had gone through and I had said, you know, I haven't used the afghan stitch in, in years because it was something that we were doing when we were doing cross stitch back about 20 years ago. It was big or maybe longer. And I just didn't have my afghan stitch hooks, afghan hooks out. And then um, Tony, one of the podcasters, she had a couple of scarves that she put up that was Tunisian crochet and I was like huh I probably ought to do one of those so I'm thinking about it but uh one of the other girls had put up a scarf using the simple stitch 
So I was like, you know, I haven't done that in a long time, and I've never done a scarf with that. So I decided, what the heck. And so I got out my <laughs> Leisure Arts old standby. Yeah, they're heavy and bulky, but you know what? Works. <laughs> I got out a wooden one that was new, and, and right through here, it drags on the halo. So I was like, no, and that didn't work. So that went back in the drawer. So what I'm working with is the scarfie. The pattern I will put down in the description box. So if you want to try it out, you know, what the heck. So it says you need one whole skein of scarfie to do this pattern. You just uh, do it as long as you want or use up the skein or whatever. So I said, okay, I'll start it. And of course, this is the pattern with the simple stitch that curls up. <laughs> so in order to see this, I'm going to have to, yeah, it's going to be all curled up. But anyway, there you go. That is my, the beginning of this simple scarf. It's going to be gorgeous. It's so soft and lofty with this, and when it's blocked, it's gonna, it's just gonna be wonderful. But yep, I only had one skein of this uh, cream and teal, they call it. Now, anyone that doesn't know, Scarfy has uh, wool in it. It is a a five bulky, made by Lion Brand, and it has. It's a big skein, has 312 yards, but it has 22% wool. So you can feel that you're wrong. And by the way, this tote bag is perfect for a skein of Scarfy. <laughs> Stands right up. <laughs> so I am getting a feel of a wool sweater but not, not an itchy one. Yeah, it's very nice. So, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this, but I figured, what the heck, I'm going to, I'm going to do something different. So that's what I was working on this morning. And while I was working on it, I was watching Vlogmas, of course. And then I watched Heather, um, or I mean, not Heather, I'm sorry, Hannah, because she only uh, puts up a post every two weeks. So that was great to see her. And um, I don't know if you watch her, but that's the Cozy Cottage. Cozy Cottage Crochet, I think. Or <coughs> I watch her every two weeks. So while I was watching, I saw... Uh, notification of an email saying that I had a delivery a delivery the only thing that I should have had was um or it couldn't have been premier already but it was it was because it, it was right outside the front door and I was like holy crap they said it was when I put that order in they said it was going to be 10 days at least because of the holiday turn around and it was here in three days I'm like are you kidding me so like I said you need your cup and you need to sit down for this one because this order now I have been putting it off and putting it off and not because of any reason really but I wanted to get coffee shop for probably since summer since it came out because I love Premier and I have really never found a Premier yarn that I didn't like. I, I, I don't think I have. If I do, I will let you know. But anyway, I've been wanting to get Coffee Shop. Every time I check, they're sold out of all the colors that I wanted. Well, this specific day, I said, look it. You got to get it because, you know... So they only had two colors that I actually really wanted. So what I did was I only got one of them. But I, there were a couple other yarns I wanted to try. 
and they still had those so it's like okay great go ahead put the order in now finally you're gonna get coffee shop so now I've got it and it came already and now I want to share it with you and this is amazing box an amazing box so <coughs> guess we'll get on with it <laughs> All right, the first two that I got are Premier Chunky, or Serenity Chunky. And these are tweed, and they're really, really soft for a Chunky. Now, I have tried a lot of Chunkies. This one is actually a five, and to me, it's, it's a big five. But I have tried a lot of Chunkies. And I think that at one point there was enough wool in there that I didn't like it. I'm like, what's the big deal? It's not even soft. But some of them are really soft. And these are really soft. And that is the prettiest color. And it has all kinds of little tweeties in there. This is, like I said, it is a five bulky. They have... Uh, 97% acrylic and 3% of the viscose is the tweed. 109 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. Beautiful. Machine wash, everything. So I got three of these, and this color is called Claire. Just gorgeous. I got three in the red Claire, and I got three in the blue. Gorgeous. And the blue is called Eclipse. Isn't that pretty? So three ought to get me either a really nice big scarf or a hat and a, and a small scarf like a cowl. So I have already picked out, I'm pretty sure, I already picked out the um, the cowl I'm going to do with these, and I'm going to do it uh, with some buttons, some of my uh, conch, what are they, shells, they're special buttons. Anyway, so those will be coming up. <laughs> okay, and then I told you, I got some coffee shop. I did get four of them, but I got them all in the same color so that I had enough to do something substantial with it. This is this coffee shop comes in a cake. And this color was one of the ones I wanted cuz I'm not a big like brass one color next to like rainbow like yellows and reds and I'm not I'm not a person that likes that I like the muted or the naturals so that the colors are subtle changing this is the way I am so the this is a three light completely machine washable oh no it actually is telling me to lay flat to dry now why Made in Turkey, 284 yards, 80, oh, 85% acrylic, 15% wool. Now, I guess I didn't pay attention to that because I haven't been lately because I can use things. I just always, when I make stuff, I always go and I fill out one of these care cards and tell everybody if it has wool in it or whatever. I haven't been paying attention that much. And I probably should because when I'm doing my giveaways, people are saying, you know, they can't enter this or that. And um, so every now and then I'll remind you if you win something and you can't have it in your house because it's wool, just message me. We'll make a substitute. I would rather do a substitute for you than do you, for you to take something that you, you can't use. And I'm not going to, you know, it's what it is. 
anyway, then we'll deal with it when we come to it. But anyway, the, this is 15% um, wool, which is why it's saying lay flat to dry. A lot of people don't put their handmade things in the washer or the dryer, even though they, they can. They don't. So this colorway is called Columbia. And I'm going to say that's like almost blue a heather like a heather pattern with that wow well, marl heather I'm not sure but it has green in the center and then it's blue and then it has like a rust goes back to green and then blue so it's very nice now this has a, a lot in one one uh, hank oh it's not a hank Chris it's a cake 284 yards so I got four of them. So it's almost 1,200. I think I can make a sweater out of these four. That's why I got four. So I am going to try it. So that was the only one I got, the coffee uh, shop, because that was pretty much the only one I liked that was available. All right, so then, I got this one. This one is one I haven't tried, so I thought I would try it. I got three balls of it. And these are bright colors. Really, really bright. <laughs> see how thin it is? It's, it's like really thin. Okay, let's see. What do we call this? Universal yarn called Vibrance. 218 yards, 200 meters, uh, 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, 73% super wash wool, 24% nylon, 3% polyester. And yeah, it's, it's very stretchy. I almost thought I was, I don't know. <laughs> very stretchy this this color is called vitamin c surprise <laughs> it's got a black uh cord holding everything together twisted twisted cord i think there's more on the label here let's go around the corner yes it said it's saying it's a one super fine i just thought i'd throw it in and try it I think it was on the $2, yeah, I'm almost sure. It was on the $2 uh, sale, so that's why I threw it in to try it. Because if you spent $60, you got free shipping. And I needed like one or two skeins of something to hit that. So those, I got three of those. So one, uh, one, uh, one ply... Um, I'm going to guess it's going to be a shawl. I just know what it is. It's going to be a lightweight shawl of some kind. Someday, I don't know when, probably something I'll work on in the summertime. Okay, so that was that one. Then I had to try this because Crystal had, I think Crystal had bought this and showed it on her. So I got two skeins of these. And these were also on the $2.00 rack whoop <laughs> hang on to it one for me one for you as Krista would say okay so we have a three light and this one is hand wash lay flat to dry well we figured the name of this one is called spangle it's 164 yards 150 meters, 1.76 ounces, 50 grams, 75% nylon, 25% metallic. All right, so that is your sparkle cord to be your fancy to go with something, something else. And then that's really what I got it for because everybody's saying, Oh yeah, you want to try these different things. And I did try a couple of them and I really liked them. And I said, this one looks like one that would be easy to use. It's not going to fall apart. It's cha uh, chain spun. <laughs> a 
Okay, and the colorway on this one is Silver Sunshine. Isn't that pretty? It's, it's silver, gold, and uh, like platinum and rust all together. But of course, it's going to change, so you're not going to see all of those colors in one spot. They're going to be all through. So that was that. That was that one. And I only got one other yarn, but I got it because that was the other one that I wanted to try really bad, and um, I had seen it on a couple people's um, I had seen the, these on a couple people's uh, hauls, and I said, wow, I know I'm going to like it, so I'm going to just get one, probably at least every color. So that's what I did. So if you don't like yarn hauls, you can turn me off now. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to tell you about each color, and then I'll shut up. This was Allure. Now, I had Allure with spelled with an O, and I loved it. This is Allure by Premier spelled differently. Holy cow. Absolutely love it. I, I, I cannot get over it. Okay, so let's go into this. Five bulky, and it is probably considered to, to be a five bulky because it has a halo 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 haven't done that in a while this one is called pearl 252 yards 70 percent acrylic 21 percent polyester and nine percent alpaca this is why i got it because i love to use alpaca it doesn't have any merino in it it's just acrylic and alpaca blend with a little polyester to make it a little stretchy it says hand wash lay flat to dry which I would have expected so this one is got a luster to it it's a very nice shine all on its own isn't it I don't know if you can see it but as I go through the bag, they're all different. They're just all different. So I got two of the cream. It's a pearl, the cream color, not white. And then I, I will show you every color as I go through. You're not going to believe this. Okay, so this one. And that does to me, it looks to me like it's How's that? This is just gorgeous. And it is, oh my gosh, it is so soft. It's luscious. There, let's see if we can get that color out. There is a black thread like showing. It's gorgeous. This one is called Antique Gold. And, and that's another reason why I wanted to get this because I have a couple people that really like vintage looking stuff and I want to make things that look vintage I, I want to make you know some cows and things that look like they're old and these kind of yarns and the opacas and the halos tend to do that so that's my intention with these and I hope they keep them in the line because they are very nice. So this one is called Antique Gold. This one is very similar. And this one is called Dove. There, you can see the color in it there. I hold it that way. I didn't realize that that would work. Look at that. There you go. That's that's true color right there. See the, the sparkle in it? Even though it doesn't have it, it's like a satin. It's just gorgeous. Okay, and that was Dove. And then they had 
where am I? Oh, mm -hmm. where am I? Which one am I in? I had a black, and this one's called Silver Shadow. So it's black with the silver streaks. Isn't that cool? All right. And then they had a blue. And this one is the same way. Has the streaks through it. And this one is called Night. There, that's good. That's that's almost true true color there. And then I got let me see. I think I got two more. Nope. Yep, two more. This one. I got two of each one. So I have enough to do. Look at that. <laughs> Tiger's eye. They caught that one. Tiger's eye. I almost want to use this one first just to see how it comes out. No. Beautiful. Beautiful halo. There you go. Okay, and there's one more. And of course, I know a couple of girls are gonna put, are gonna suck in their breath when they see this one. That's why I saved it for last. What do you think of that? Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. And this one is called Plum. Of course it is. Isn't that gorgeous? And like I said, these are 252 yards, 230 meters. It's a bulky five. Beautiful. And that was, so I did, I got all, like almost every color. I, I may have missed a couple. So I'm so proud of that haul. I think I'll even take this Vlogmas and drop it down into the haul videos too because, you know. Okay, so um, the other day I got uh, one of the gifts out of my box was a Summer Nights and it was a bonus and so um, that made me go and look to see if I had any Summer Nights and I did so I'm going to put one into the end of the month box the giveaway box from Christie's Closet and this one is called Treasure Island it's a green and blue blend it is a fine one. Has a sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? Yeah, pretty much. And this one has, oh, it does say, see, it says machine wash and dry on this one. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 437 yards, 82% acrylic, 18% polyester so that's going into the giveaway box at the end of the month of vlogmas that's all I have today and um so go over to Christy's channel tonight and hopefully she will open a gift tonight I'm not sure she went to pick up her son and they're busy with Christmas things and I'm not sure how it's gonna go so um, I hope you're enjoying this weekend, um, right be the last weekend before Christmas. I am. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, see you all tomorrow. Bye now.